services. It's Maureen O'Hara, one of the PAs that works on the ODA service. And I want to go over this Tuesday bundle that prints out uh, that uh, Willie will have for you on 904. It includes uh, all the forms that you're going to need for pre-op on Tuesday afternoon, for the post-op orders that you need on Wednesday morning, and then it has the daily notes that you need um, for Thursday through Monday. The lineup um, goes to Willie. Uh, she's on the distribution on Tuesday morning, and so she prints out the bundles based on who's on the lineup, and she'll hold them for you uh, over there on 904. If she's not there, someone else is supposed to know how to do it, but I don't know who that is. So you may want to inquire in case for some reason she's not there on a Tuesday. Um, also, you can learn to print them using the patient menu. Um, the nurses probably could show you how to do it. And I don't have any materials to add on to this video to show you today, but maybe in the future. Um, and also the bundle is only programmed to print on 904. So you can print it in clinic. Over there they can show you how to do it. Um, but it will end up printing only on 904. Okay, so one of the uh, forms that you're going to have is this heart and lung note, that, I, as I call it, or the Tuesday note. And my idea about this form was that you could use it like a checklist that you could um, check off the uh, labs that were ordered and then you could put in the results and then that way you'd have it all on Tuesday when you go to do your heart and lung. Uh, because even though we're not responsible for fixing any of these laboratory values, uh, especially glucose out of control like that or um, white counts off the scale and H&Hs that need transfusion, um, we still need to know about them and I have to say that um, anesthesia really appreciates that we document these things. Um, also in terms of anesthesia they like the um, PTT to be less than 40 um, so that's another reason why we need to know what the INR is because it's possible that it's correctable. If it's not correctable then we need to use FFP. Don't forget to order uh, pregnancy tests on any women age 15 to 55, whether they've had hysterectomies or not. Um, that can hold up surgery in the morning. And I have become passive aggressive in my old age, and I just order HCGs, um, STAT or ASAP. Um, the problem with doing a urine pregnancy is that nobody can pee when you ask for that and that will hang you up in the morning. So it's just easier to get it in the afternoon. Um, anesthesia requires a chest x-ray on anyone that is uh, age 60 or more. And then if there's an indication like for obesity, smoke, or CHF, the usual things. Um, if they have any loose teeth, they need to have a consult by the dental people that we have on campus. I like to put in the um, vascular and the MRI results because sometimes that's the only place in the chart that you can verify those things. And uh, everybody's on Fragment these days, so we want to stop that. If it's not stopped, it's not the end of the world. The nurses get excited about it, but it really doesn't make any difference as far as we're concerned. <clears throat> And then do your heart and lung exam and sign it and put it on the chart. Do that on Tuesday. Um, I don't think there's any forms that are already signed by Dr. Chambers. That was sort of a luxury, I guess, when I was there. Um, but now that I'm not there full time, just make sure it gets on the chart on Tuesday. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to pick up with my next segment.